So last week I read Ghost of Sleep by James Herbert and I also read To Mary Medulla by Theodore Sturgeon. So the James Herbert book Ghost of Sleep was a longer book actually than the other one. It's a 400, almost 500 pages book. Uh, but the second one was a short story essentially, you know, 80 pages or uh, something like that. Uh, something under 100 pages actually. Uh, let's start with Ghosts of Sleep by James Herbert. Uh, this is the second book in the David Ash series. Uh, this is my favorite book so far in the David Ash. Last month I read Haunted by James Herbert, so the first book in the David Ash series, which was my favorite book by James Herbert that far. Uh, but I gotta say the second one is better <laughs> than the first one. So yeah, once again, my favorite book I've read by James Herbert so far. I really enjoyed this book. It's really amazing. It has supernatural elements. So, you know, that's kind of my thing. So maybe that's why I like this book a bit better. Even, you know, in the first one, there were some supernatural elements, but they are really more present in that second one. So this time we're following David Ash as he comes into this small English town called Sleaf, where there's multiple hauntings happening. And, you know, from the get-go, you see a lot of ghosts. Yeah, and here, you know, we see the ghosts from the get-go and we know that there are ghosts from the start. And we don't really know why they're there. The only downside to this book, in my opinion, actually, is just the whole satanic angle that the book has in the second half. I just didn't really connect it with that. I didn't really care about that part. It's more in the background, so it's not that important, but I just, you know, that book would have been perfect, in my opinion, just if we had another explanation than just, you know, being satanic ritual and people worshipping the devil or whatever. Uh, but that being said, as I said, it's just a small part of the book. It's not that important. It kind of is, but not really for the end and why the ghosts are actually there. Uh, it's a really cool story. I really enjoyed it. All the characters in this story were great. I usually don't care about love interests in book, but in here, like the love interest has meaning and has an impact on the ending, which I really enjoyed and on the, you know, psychology of David Ash and I really enjoyed that we're seeing this from David Ash, our main protagonist in this story. The ending was truly amazing. And as I said, this is my new favorite of James Herbert. I really enjoyed this book. I can't wait to read book number three. That's going to be uh, mainly start of January, I think, that I'm going to come back to David Ash. Can't wait to come back to this. Then I read To Mary Medusa by Theodore Sturgeon. I read a short story by Theodore Sturgeon a while ago uh, when I was learning French literature in college, actually. I know he's an American writer, but I was studying this author who was doing a lot of French translation. So yeah, short, long story short. The first story I read by Theodore Sturgeon was Yesterday Was Monday, which is something that I really enjoyed and I should do a video about this. I'm going to, at one point, this is one of the short stories that I remember the most, just because of how clever and really intriguing it was. And then I figured, you know, why not read a book by him, so a novella from him, and I'm... I gotta say that I'm a bit disappointed. Um, the story, the concept of the story is really great. So you have this alien thing that's not really clear what it is, essentially. It's kind of a virus. It reminded me a lot about the body snatchers. So, you know, the alien is changing your personality and you're becoming something else like in the body snatchers, but also kind of the thing, but without all the paranoia around, you know, who's human, who's not, and all of this. And same thing, you know, in the body snatchers, you have all this paranoia around, but you don't have it in here, which is a shame. And I think it 
it would have benefited it would have been a bit longer and have more you know that feeling of not being you know who's who and who's human or not what it means to be human it lacks this depth unfortunately and it just it jumps around way too much there's too many characters i don't mind you know following multiple characters multiple point of views and stuff like this but when it jumps around that much it becomes kind of hard to keep pace you know hard to follow exactly what's happening to who and i feel like the author is struggling with this also you know following what's happening in his own story so it's a bit of a shame because the concept of it is really amazing so the alien species that's trying to overcome humanity and the earth is a hive mind alien species uh, and us humans are not a hive mind species actually so they're kind of struggling with this or we're seeing uh, the whole aspect of you know alien colonization but not really because we're seeing it through this one guy who's really un unlikable and unreliable also so yeah you see kind of that hive mind mentality and it's trying to take humanity back to a previous hive mind that it had at one point in history i didn't really enjoy that concept you know it's kind of once again it's kind of a cool concept you know maybe us human were a hive mind mentality maybe you know when we were bacteria or you know multi cellulic organism or something like this but it's just poorly explained so once again you know it's a cool concept but unfortunately poorly executed i think that this book would have been better if it was just slightly longer and unfortunately you know i didn't really connect it with the story uh, but i really enjoyed that concept and i'm glad that it was a short read just because of how kind of a bit boring at times it was and you know i didn't really connect it with any characters unfortunately so right now i'm reading a dark and hungry god arises so book three in the gap series by stephen r donaldson i'm midway through the book and i i think i know by far this is going to be my favorite book in the gap series it just you know it just get better and better it's a strong contendent for book of the month i mean it's just so well written so well executed it's this book series is sci-fi i know mr donaldson has done some fantasy work so the thomas covenant series even though i'm not into fantasy that much i might read the thomas covenant once again just because of how much i like the gap series it's just turning out to be one of this one of these series that i just you know connect with a lot i really enjoy it even though it's kind of misogynistic the main women character in the series is just an ama amazing character so marn highland she's just such a good character i don't know what's going to happen to her just yet <laughs> i'm midway through it looks pretty bad you know everything looks pretty bad for her unfortunately uh, but yeah i can't wait to see where this is going i'm really enjoying this book i really enjoy Marn. i hope that she finally get what she deserves and can move past all these men and all these assholes but yeah now you know angus termopile is turning out to be one of the greatest character even if in book number one he was this huge huge asshole he's now turning out to be maybe one of the good guys in the end i don't know yet i really enjoyed this book i can't wait to talk to you guys about it i really enjoy it it might yeah i think that the gap series might be one of my favorite series so far i'm really into it i'm really into the genre it's not really horror it's more sci-fi it has some horror elements you know with the alien species being this weird thing that it's not clear what they want i really enjoy that from the gap series you know it's pirate in space you know what do you need what else do you need it's just 
it's pirates in space it's really amazing i really enjoy this book i'm going to try to come back to a weekly video published as i was doing in you know as i was doing previous to october i had to take some time off essentially but i'm going to try to come back to a weekly thing and maybe not talk about just one book maybe talk about other topics we'll see where this goes uh, but i want to try and keep you know come back to that weekly update i don't know what 2024 holds for me but i'm going to try and do these weekly things once again that's gonna be it for this week i really appreciate it if you've made it this far in this video thank you so much it means a lot to me and i will see you in the next one